Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let's see if I can get this participants things. There we go. There we go. Don't y'all love computer issues? Good old Monday. Welcome to the May 2021 10-day detox with Jason. It's good to have you guys with me. Some of you have done this before. Some of you have not. Welcome. This is going to be fun and it should be easy as long as you've got your heart right. As long as you've got your heart in the right place and you're ready to detoxify your body, this is a detox, by the way. It is a detox. It is a challenge in that you must personally challenge yourself. Hey, Connie, you must personally uh, challenge yourself. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Gina. Hey, Millie. Um, you must challenge yourself to do that thing that it is that we're doing. Now, how many of you that are here today uh, have the AdvoCare cleanse and you're going to be taking the AdvoCare products along with this detox? Uh, yes, you can do it without the products. I am doing it without the products myself. Okay. So doing it with the AdvoCare Cleanse products, we recommend about four times a year. That means quarterly. Let's say we do it in December. We're going to turn around. We're going to do it in March. We're going to turn around and do it in June. We're going to turn around and do it again in, you guessed it, September, right? December, March, June, and September. That would be a quarterly regimen of a body detoxification. So. Anything that may be stuck in the gut, uh, any imbalance in our uh, enzymes, those digestive enzymes that get in there, that get off kilter, uh, we would do a gentle detox quarterly. Now, does that mean I can't do the detox every time Jason does the detox? Because Jason is going to do a 10-day detox every month. No, it doesn't. But when it comes to taking the probiotics, when it comes to uh, taking the fiber packets and detoxifying the system as laid out with the um, with these uh, AdvoCare products, quarterly, quarterly, right? You pick the quarter, okay? So if you're if you're starting this month, which is which is May, then you're going to be off a little bit from the quarterly regimen that I just recommended. Um, now I, I said all that because uh, some of you will be wondering, should I be taking these uh, probiotics all the time? Probiotics are, it's not necessary to always be taking a probiotic. Um, for instance, if you are to be taking antibiotics, it would be a good thing once your antibiotics run out to put some probiotics back into your gut because antibiotics kill off a lot of the good enzymes that are keeping our digestive system working as they should be, okay? Uh, just so everybody knows, I've got the Q&A open. If anybody wants to throw those things into, uh, any questions into the Q&A that I might get at the end of class, uh, the chat feature is a great place to communicate with me, but um, as I do sometimes get long-winded, sometimes these uh, I will lose your your question, I don't want to lose your question. Your questions are important to me. So um, uh, I will um, just remind you that uh, the Q&A is open. Now, um, today I'm going to not just welcome you and tell you I missed you and to uh, tell you I'm glad you're here, but I also want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Good morning, Patricia. Um, uh, that Anybody that's taking the AdvoCare products, uh, I suggest within uh, an hour of waking up that you have taken your probiotic and your fiber packet. Now, that's my suggestion. Your fiber packet can be taken anytime during the day uh, that you'd like to. Some of you may love this fiber uh, packet uh, because it creates a soft stool. Uh, that um, is very cleansing as it exits the system. In other words, it is actually cleaning its way as it goes throughout the digestive tract. 
Now, you may choose to purchase the fiber separately from the cleanse from AboCare and actually use it continuously uh, throughout your uh, Shibola uh, weight loss, or maybe you just like the regularity that it produces and you want to continue to uh, take that product. It can be purchased separately. It's the probiotic and the, um, the, the multivitamin supplement that is used in tandem called the AboCare Cleanse that I'm referring to that you'll want to do in a, on a quarterly rotation. That's, uh, that is our suggestion, okay? The detox can be done every month, if you'd like. If you really like this meal plan, if you really like the accountability that goes with it, if you, um, if you are very successful with it, maybe your digestive system just really likes to have a break where you, you utilize some uh, fasting principles and or um, you just really uh, enjoy uh, doing this particular um, challenge. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to actually call this a challenge, this, this regimen, let's call it a regimen, this 10-day detox. Um, if you really enjoy doing this detox, then I suggest you, you suit up and show up every month. We'd love to have you. Now, having said that, I have gotten multiple emails asking me to go back over everything. I don't know that that's absolutely necessary. I am going to touch on uh, some things. Here's one thing that I learned last month. So as to give you guys fair warning, last month I learned that we did orientation too close to the start date. And a lot of people that wanted to get the AboCare products for this detox did not have time to get their order place, get their products in, were upset that they had to start their, their detox without the products, wound up either starting them late, taking them, uh, or not taking them at all. Hence, they're here with the products this month. So I filmed the uh, orientation for this detox a week in advance. Okay, to give everybody two weeks to get their products that wanted to get their products. I, this may have been uh, an unforeseen uh, problem. It may have been a better thing to go uh, less than 14 days and go with 10 days or nine days uh, to give everybody ample time to get their products, but still not too far out in the future to uh, discourage anyone or maybe have people say, I don't know what's going on. I missed orientation or when is orientation? The challenge starts tomorrow. So I've got a lot of emails that said, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know where anything is, Jason. I, I, I have clicked on the challenge and there's nothing there. Uh, so let me, let me try to, to get everybody on board and in the same uh, lane so we can get our, our challenge started, okay? Um, let's see what I can, I can do this first. Hey, Connie. Hey, Anna. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Gina. Hey, hey, Jen. Hey, Jim Wright. Hey, Andon. Hey, Karen. Hey, Kathy. Good morning, Kim and Lori. Hey, Melissa. There's my, my, my happy Mother's Day, Millie. Happy Mother's Day, all you ladies. Mitzi, Patricia, Rosie. I got Tim Pearson, uh, Zan, is that how I say this? Zan, will you give me a, a thumbs up or an affirmative if that's, if that's correct? And I have somebody on the phone, welcome to my phone participant. All right. Um, I, yes. Um, Connie, do you need me? Am I? Uh, okay, maybe not. Hey. All right, all right, all right, all right. I've got a question. Can herbal teas count as part of my half gallon of water? Um, yeah, Calorie-free herbal teas can be counted as um, uh, liquid. I don't, uh, let's go with more than a half gallon. So if you get a half gallon of water, herbal tea can count as your water. Okay, there needs to be a half gallon of, of, of wet water. Just, you know, the, the clear stuff, this kind, just, just regular old water. Let's do a half a gallon minimum of regular water. And then let's start adding the uh, added ingredients and other 
uh, uh, things to those those liquids. All right, let me see if I can get my screen share to work. All right, looks like we're going to get that. Okay, good morning. Here is your 10-day challenge uh, detox with Jason. I got there by going here to the orange tab on the left side of the screen, scrolling down to Shibola's 10-day detox with Jason. I've already accepted the challenge and started it. We have 42 participants. I would have thought that we would have at least 100 participants. That's why I said what I said about my, my orientation maybe being at the wrong time, okay? Uh, so if I have failed you to get the information out there uh, in enough, with enough warning or too much warning by having too much, too much time, I apologize. Please tell all of your uh, detox warriors that want to join in on this to come on. Today is the day to join. If you want to be officially in, today's the day to join. How do I join? You hit the accept button. You'll put in a front and side facing picture and you will put in your weight uh, as of today. Your weight as of today. If you signed up four days ago, Crystal, what you're going to need to do is go to your journal for today and put your weight in. That way, when we, when we actually go to the um, challenge results, which will be here, Tomorrow, if you lose weight, it's going to go from your last weigh-in. It's going to go from your last weigh-in. So if you weighed in last month and you weigh in tomorrow, it's going to show the difference between last month all the way to today. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to um, go to your journal today, and I want you to put in your weight today. This will be your starting weight as of this morning. Now, right here, all of these blue buttons are everything you're going to need to be successful for this challenge. Do you need to weigh in every day? No, you don't, Crystal. That's not necessary whatsoever, but you do need a starting weight and you will need a finishing weight in order to earn the badge, okay? So I'm gonna go over a couple of things. There's two holidays allowed during this 10-day detox. I want to tell each and every one of you that believes that you're saved by the grace of God, that you have the spirit of Jesus, the Holy Ghost living inside of you. You have everything. You're, you're, you are 1,000% equipped to not have a holiday between now and the 20th of this month. You have everything inside of you, every, uh, every saving grace every uh every all the the full power of god if you will inside of you to empower you to not mess up okay now that and what i just did i did not uh put guilt i did not put shame i didn't put all i did right then was i empowered every single one under the sound of my voice now and in the future to realize that you have everything inside of you your you are equipped to have 10 uh, uh, detox perfect days. You have it inside of you, okay? Every time you think you do not have what it takes, you, I, want you to, I want you to call on, uh, on the Lord. I want you to bless the name of the Lord. I want, you to, I want you to actually get the Spirit of God to line up inside with your spirit, okay? The Spirit of God will witness to your spirit if you will, if you will listen, if you will try to, to, to come in line with it. I'm not going to start yet, but, but I, I feel like it. I feel like preaching this morning. But just let me, let me get this out. Right here, this last button, 10-day detox rules and guidelines. This should be the parameters by which, this is that, this is that document by which everybody is in line, okay? Now to my, the question, can I have the, something inside of my uh, water? You can look right here, the very first thing, drink a half a gallon to one gallon of water each day, please feel free to add what? Fresh squeezed lemon juice to your water each day because it aids in the detox process. Okay, it's not mandatory, but you could if you want to, 
add something to your water, add some lemon to it. I know everybody, we all have personal wants and desires. We all have things that we like. We all have these caveats in our programs, in our, in our lifestyles that make it um, personal to us, right? It makes it um, something that, that, well, I can do this because I get to have what, this is a 10 day detox. The purpose of this detox is to what? Detoxify the body. It's to cleanse the body. It's to, it's to uh, reset our gut health. It's to get our weight going in the right direction, of course, but it's more than that. It's to get our bodies to start uh, processing these nutrients in the way that we were designed to process them, which is efficiently, effectively. Okay, now, uh, and the, in order to earn the badge, your detox badge, it's mandatory that you journal online each and every day. Now, I'm going to pause right here. I'm going to skip back over here to, no, I'm not. I'm going to start a new one. Pardon me. Here. I'm going to go to, to uh, my journal, and I have done this intentionally today for all of you folks that do not want to, uh, that are not used to journaling, that maybe have issues with this side or the other. Listen, I don't care if you do it on the Shibboleth app or on the website, but in a minimum sense, in other words, in order to get your badge and in order to not be unintentionally tapped out of the challenge, you need to come here to this part right here that says, what kind of day are you having? And you need to say, I'm having a perfect day, okay? A holiday or, or uh, 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 something, either one or the other, holiday or perfect day. This is the minimum requirement. That's it. Do I have to journal my food? No, I want you to. You will benefit 1,000% more from journaling your food, but, the, but you have to go and journal perfect, okay? Every day. This should take, uh, I, don't, I don't know, five seconds, 10 seconds, but that's where, that's where we are, okay? Is everybody with me? Can I get an amen? If I get an amen, I'm ready, I'm ready to move on. Okay, does anybody not understand? what I mean by journal every day. Rosie says, amen, good. Anybody not understand what I mean by journaling every day? Because, hey, look, I get it. Some of you are new. Some of you don't understand that, that journaling's part of the program. Some of you haven't done the simple requirements that we, that, that we add, look, our requirements, our suggestions, you don't have to do it our way, but if you do it our way, we pretty much guarantee you're gonna lose weight, you know? I mean, we, we, we pretty much guarantee if you do Shibboleth the way that we have designed it and laid it out to be done, you're going to lose weight. Every, every time you, uh, you really give it 100%, you should lose weight. It just works. Okay, so I guess everybody gets it. Combination. Please stick with the meal ideas presented in the orientation class that I, that I have laid out for you. Now, if y'all don't know where the orientation class is, it's in the Facebook group. Should I show you that? Do I need to show you the Facebook group? Let's see, going to Facebook, going to groups, going to, that's not it, I'm sorry, pardon me. Should be right here for me to, uh, wow, I should have been a little more detox, Shibboleth detox class, here it is. It should be pinned in the announcements of the group, see that it's not. Wow, Jason is not doing a good job this morning. Please forgive me. We'll get we'll get a lot of this stuff uh, cleaned up. Um, there it is, right here. This is this is it. I think here, detox orientation. Let me pin this to the top right quick. Mark is an announcement. Now it's going to be pinned at the top of the page, okay? First thing you should see should be the orientation for this class. So anybody that gets lost and doesn't know how to find that, there it is, okay? It's in that. So the next thing we'll look at, we'll go back to the website. This, this is not, I'm not as all over the place as you might think that I am, 
I'm going to go to videos and print material. And we're going to look, look here, Shibola 10 day detox with Jason. Uh, there should be an orientation video here. I shall get. Um, there it is. Challenge orientation videos. The very top one is our May orientation. Now, that's it right here. Let me, let me get out of here for a second and look at you, right? Some of you don't like to do Facebook, and I understand I, I, I work on Facebook. Um, so I have a love-hate relationship with Facebook. I, I, I really, um, I use Facebook because it helps the most people, okay? If you don't do Facebook, I just showed you how to find the orientation videos and what will become where it said Shibola Detox Jason. It had all of those 10 videos plus the badge ceremony. Those will be removed and the new ones for this month will be added to the website. So this video that we're shooting right now or this class or however you want to call it, Roundup, will be there. Um, so we got it on the website under in the video library and we have it on the Facebook page. And if you register for these Zoom um, roundups, whether you show up or not, you're going to get a copy of this class in your email 24 hours later. So back to our rules and regulations portions. Please do not have more than three eating episodes today, uh, each day. What is an eating episode? It's when you open your mouth and put food in uh, for a period of time and stop. Is a snack an eating episode? Yes. Snack is an eating episode. So if you choose to eat something off of the meal plan that I'm going to show you in a moment, and it's not in a meal portion or you don't want to consider it a meal, it doesn't matter. We, we count it as an eating episode and we keep it moving. How many eating episodes do we get uh, a day, Rosie? I'm asking Rosie because she'll participate with me. Y'all don't want to participate this morning. How many do we get? Three, Shannon says, good. Now, now we're on the, now we're, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, we're getting somewhere. If you're diabetic, you should consult your physician before doing this. Listen, if you have problems with a low blood sugar, please get with me in my, uh, uh, it, please get with me in my um, inbox on Messenger. E email me at jasonwna at gmail.com. Whatever you got to do, get in touch with me. If you're having low blood sugars and you don't know what to do, get with me. Let's let's get you some. So let's let's make sure nothing. We don't want to hurt anybody. You need to get your doctor's permission uh, to be on a diet, especially to do this kind of a cleanse. Um, but uh, we've got a little fast link for some portion plates here. Here's your calorie restrictions for breakfast: 250 to 300 calories. Lunch and dinner should be somewhere between 250 and 350 calories, okay? These are up to you. Keep up with these things. Um, you can keep up with them in your online journal if you want to. It's important to allow what? Four to six hours between eating episodes. Why? Why do I need such a long period of time between my eating episodes? Well, we are trying to cleanse our bodies. Remember, this is not just uh, uh, an exercise in dieting. This is not just um, some sort of a, a, a fun thing that we're doing with Jason for a while. It may be to some of you. I, I don't want to, to uh, this is not a, a I'm, I'm just relining this up this morning. But, what, but this four to six hours literally gives our bodies enough time to digest the foods that we just ate. You mean I need four to six hours to get 250 calories worth of something out of the way? I did not realize that, yes. Yes, your body is going to need at least four to six hours to get that stuff out of the way, but I'm going to be hungry in between there. Well, make good food choices. Okay, You've got a food list to choose from. Make the best food choices that go along with your um, the food you choose, right? If you choose have something that, that's hearty and it's going to hold you over that's uh, 200 calories, Versus something that's not hearty, that's not going to hold you over for, for that's 200 calories. They're both 200 calories. They're both on the food list, and you get to pick which ones you want. So, just just figure that out. Now, here are the the recommended instructions for the Abocare cleanse and the products that are there. Okay, 
those things that come are, are for you. If you're using them, here's the way to do it. Um, uh, Travis actually makes this suggestion uh, in this first line to consume the packets with uh, three cubes of ice. Um, he likes them more as like a, a, a beverage. I like to get mine down. I don't like to enjoy mine too much. My wife likes to enjoy hers. Some of y'all like to enjoy yours. I prefer to, um, uh, I don't want to hold my nose and, and throw it down. I don't mean it like taking it like medicine, but I do, I like to get it done because there is a, um, there is the thickening agent in uh, jelly, right? The, the pectin that is in jelly that, that actually makes jelly start to thicken is in that fiber gel or in that fiber packet. So that, that's one of the reasons why Travis recommends 16 to 20 ounces in his uh, um, fiber drink. And AboCare calls for six to eight ounces, I believe. So just, just know that thinning it out is to help it go down without having that gel texture. If you have a texture issue with the uh, fiber packet, simply add water or, or liquid that's uh, zero to five calories when you're doing it. Exercise, all right? All this stuff is, is laid out in these in instructions. 10,000 steps a day is, is, is recommended. Why? Because if you sweat, um, that's gonna help you detoxify the body. Okay, so that stuff comes out, your sweat comes out, the toxins come out through your pores. Now I'm gonna be having um, you chug yours with a straw, no problemo, good for you. <laughs> uh, can you take your fiber packet with a spark? You can, if you wanna flavor your fiber packet with a spark, no problem. That's ab absolutely no problem. Just remember um, the sparks are, are, I suggest the sparks be one a day, one a day spark on the, on the detox. You can have more than that, but one a day should be enough. If you want to use it to flavor your fiber, that's perfectly fine. I do lay out here that these roundups will be at 1030. And the reason why they're going to be at 1030 for, for the month of, of May is because I have a challenge that starts next week and I'll have roundups at nine. So um, the month of May is, is going to be my last month for um, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, 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 paying challenges. And uh, we will be uh, transitioning to a new format. So, uh, so the, the pandemic purge uh, starts uh, next week. Maybe y'all want to participate in that. I don't know, uh, but some people will. And then here we go, right? Our team will monitor the group for questions, that's that Facebook group, okay? And this is another link to the Facebook group. Now let's go back to our competitors list. Just so everybody's with me, um, let me see what I got. I just had ump shake, lots of ice fiber packet, almost ice cream, so it, it, it thickened it up. Uh, it, if that's the way you like it uh, and you've come done, I, I, I'm all for you, I'm all, I'm all with you. Um, I just, I like it to be thin. <laughs> it thickens up inside there. Okay, so um, Facebook group short link is here. Text alerts, short link is right here. Guidelines here. Now this website will take you, if you click right here, you'll find the food list. So I've had, this was the main number one question asked of me on in the email. Jason, I signed up, but I can't find the food list. Well, if you click this first tab, 10 Day Detox website. It's going to take you right here to the travismartin.tv website. You will first go to members login. Now, this, if you're not a member of, listen, this is where people get confused and I want to slow down. If you're not a member of travismartin.tv, then you're going to have to create a new account. But Jason, I'm a member of Shibola. Don't I put my Shibboleth username and my Shibboleth password in there? If you signed up for Travis Martin 
Tv with your Shibboleth username and password? The answer to that would be yes. If you've never signed up for TravisMartin.tv, which is a free website, then the answer is no. You need to sign up first. Now, if you've, uh, this is what I do. When I signed up, I just uh, um, uh, had my, um, I'm sorry, that was not supposed to happen. Let me get back out of there. I simply put in my, uh, uh, it's not in there anymore. How about that? That's not gonna work. My typing is off this morning, sorry. Oh, let's see what I put. I don't even know if I remember my password. I may need to show you all again. Nope, password's not right. Let's try this one. That's it. Okay, now I'm in. Yes, I wanna save it. That's what I was gonna show you. <laughs> save your password. So you now you have a short link Let's go back out of there and see if it worked. It should have. If I go here, 10 day detox, it's gonna take me straight to the food list. Now, all of your food list is here. You can print it out and take it with you. I'm sorry for the confusion there, I apologize. You can print out your food list here or you can just simply follow them as they go. You got your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner. Here's you some meal episode. Uh, choices. So if you want a Mighty Muffin, you can have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. That makes sense. These are things you can have as a meal. Here's the condiments we suggest and the uh, beverages. Um, Jim, I, here is your uh, Abacare Spark for Energy One. It is the suggestion. If you want to add your uh, fiber packet, that's perfectly fine. Your Diet Green Tea is here for the a person that asked about the 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 putting tea into their water that these things are allowed and they are suggested. Even uh, zero calorie sweeteners are okay. Um, supplements are here. Uh, the suggestion and this is it, y'all. It's a very very brief, terse, if you will, food list. It's short and to the point and it cuts no corners. If you don't find it on here, or so, and, and you need some variation of this, please ask questions. Please ask questions. Please reach out to me. Let me help you, okay? Um, let's get this question here. The probiotic says take it 30 minutes before breakfast. Is it okay if you do more than 30 minutes? Yeah, I believe, um, Rosie, the, the, uh, the, the point, thank you for the question, number one. The point, of having, and that's it for, for me going over it. I'm not going to go over everything food by food. You can go back to orientation to watch that. Um, um, let me, um, hang on, I got one more. Yeah, those are children one options or separate. Seems like you can choose protein and veggies. Yes, yes. So the, the question is, the meal list or choose one option for supper. It seems like you can choose more than one. The, the truth is, let's look at all of those lists as a calorie counting um, mechanism, okay? If it says between 200 to 250 for breakfast and you're, you're looking at your food list and you can eat a couple of those things together and it stay at or below that, that's okay. Same for uh, uh, breakfast and dinner, okay? Does that make sense? Does that help? Um, and I say that because, yeah, I want you to, to have a food combinations on that third eating episode. Um, I prefer it. I prefer that you have some solid food at least one time a day, unless let's say you're having a fast where you're trying to do the uh, bone broth and you want to have all liquids for a day, that will be fine as well. If that is uh, something that you're uh, working for. Does that answer the question? Does that answer the question? Hopefully, I, ho I hope it does. Okay, um, Jen, I see your hand up. Do you, do you have a question you need to run by me? Jen and Jim both.
Nope, we're good there. Okay, so everybody remembers, mark your day perfect or, or whatever. Everybody remembers we have a food list. There's a short link on the website to get to it. Number three, water in, fat out. Water in, poop out. The water's gonna be important. What are we doing for the next 10 days? We're doing a body detox or a cleanse. We're setting ourselves up for super EFB going forward. Okay, going forward. It's all right, no problem. Going forward, super EFB. Okay, well, does that mean we're not going to be in EFB during the challenge? Not even close. We will definitely be in EFB during the, the challenge. But do you want your body to destroy nutrients uh, uh, in a, an, an extremely efficient way, absorb nutrients in an extremely efficient way, process nutrients in an extremely efficient way? The, if the answer to that is yes, then, then know that this 10-day detox is how we're going to get there. On day 11, when you kick into uh, uh, work hard, play hard, uh, let's just say this, hashtag work hard, play hard, right? When, when you kick it into hashtag work, work hard, play hard, when you start combining foods properly, uh, even uh, on your own, or you jump into one of these other uh, challenge um, uh, settings where you're really trying to burn fat efficiently and you want to really, um, you know, uh, Eliminate fat faster and more efficiently. Yes, this detox is going to set you up for that. It's going to set you up for that. Um, let's see. What did I have? What did I have for you guys today? What time is it? It's already 11.06. I think... I think I'm going to save my my uh, my my lesson for tomorrow. Um, remember, remember this that um, during I, I, during this during this cleanse, I'm going to to talk about some stuff that may seem. Um, that may not seem weight loss centric to some of you. Um, I'm not going to apologize for what I say, but I want to apologize for any misconceptions or misunderstandings about what we're doing here. We are cleansing our body from unwanted uh, uh, de debris. In other words, we're cleaning out all the, the funk and the, and the stuff that's inside of us that we don't want there, that slows that, that that actually makes us inefficient machines. Okay, that's what the detoxification or cleansing process is for. But what we're going to do also each morning at 1030, hopefully with God as my helper, I'm going to stir you up in your, in, in, I'm going to stir you up or stir the spirit of God up inside you. Hopefully I may step on your toes. I may actually say some things that don't line up maybe with the doctrine you're used to hearing. But what I'm talking about uh, this week and, and in the next week with this detox, I'm going to be talking about how uh, the Spirit of God is available to us at all times. And it is 1,000%. If there's something more than 100% available and efficient, the Spirit of God is always able to do what it is set out to do. And we are poor stewards of the spirit of God. And I hope by the end of this 10 day detox that our, uh, our reliance uh, on that spirit inside of us to help us uh, love God more, depend on God more, depend on us less, love ourselves more, uh, because of what he's done for us and what he and the powers and the abilities he's given us through his spirit. Um, uh, I want you to hear this word from Jesus today. Um, I hope that by me saying this, somebody will um, at least think uh, about this um, uh, this detox in a, in a different way. Um, there, there was a very religious man in Jesus' time. His name was Nicodemus, and he was very educated in the ways of the law, okay? Nicodemus 
was a master of Israel. If you would uh, would try to stay with me for a second. And um, Jesus wanted to make sure that Nicodemus was uh, on the same page. Uh, Nicodemus uh, says um, he didn't understand what Jesus was talking about when he told him that he had to be born again and he had to be born of the spirit. And I hope that everybody here will take some time to go and read uh, John chapter three and, and really just dive into that. Um, John chapter three this week, especially today, uh, tomorrow I may touch on this a little bit more. Uh, John chapter three, we all know part of what I'm gonna read this, this morning, but I'm gonna start right here. Um, Jesus want, uh, says to Nicodemus, art thou master of Israel? And know us not these things, verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know and testify that we have seen, and you receive not our witness. Jesus was there and um, was talking about how the Spirit of God is capable of doing all things. Listen to what he says, if I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? Okay, Jesus is able through this Spirit that we, that we have because we believed on him to do things that we don't already know we can do. Anna, when the things come up, Jim, this week, Crystal, that we don't feel like we have the power to get through, this is where Jesus wants us to rely on him, okay? In this cleansing process, some of these eating episodes are going to be difficult to manage into our lives. We are going to feel like we are totally different. Well, I want you to know that Jesus anticipated our feelings and felt them himself, but he didn't sin. He didn't go the other way or the wrong way. He was tempted at all points and remained sinless. Listen to what Jesus kept saying to him. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the son of man, which is in heaven. And as Moses was lifted up as a serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting or eternal life. Listen, if Jesus had to be lifted up publicly and shamed, right, in order for us to believe that it's possible to not do the wrong thing, <laughs> Jesus told, this is John 3, and I'm almost in 16. That was John 3, 15. Right? We know John 3, 16. But why was Jesus telling old Nicodemus John 3, 16? Because we need to have everlasting life by believing in Jesus, but there's a spirit that we need to learn to rely on, just like Jesus did. Jesus knew that he had to be lifted up and that people had to look on him just like the spirit in the, in the, in the wilderness. Maybe you could go back and read on that. That's a, that's an awesome little prophecy right there that Jesus called on. But if we get past for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Not that there's not enough in that to preach about. Not that there's not enough in that to not uh, bless God for but listen, for God sent not his son in the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Okay? He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. We believe. Do you believe? Do you believe in the, in the name of Jesus? Do you believe that Jesus, that, that, that just like Jesus was telling Nicodemus, we got to believe that Jesus is the Son of God. We got to believe that 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 um, right that He was um, raised from the dead and all all of that stuff. But listen, He goes on to explain why, and this is important for us this week. I believe he that believe on Him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. So here it is. Right? Um, that light is coming to the world. And men and women love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. 
we got to clean ourselves up. This is a cleanse. This is an opportunity to clean ourselves up. It's an opportunity to realize maybe through a little bit of denying um, uh, our bellies to be full because a lot of these eating episodes are going to be sparse. Agree? I believe if you look at the food list, you'll agree. Maybe you signed up for this detox and you didn't realize that some of these eating episodes are pretty sparse. I just told you, I've warned you, right? Just like Jesus was warning Nicodemus, right? There's, there's people that just love darkness. And until we get used to love in the light and um, believing that we have the light, um, we're going to be in trouble. For everyone that doth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his what? His deed should be reproved. This is our purpose this week. Every time you feel a failure, every single time, we got to turn to the light. Can I just let Jesus preach to you this morning? Okay. If you believe that Jesus is, is the son of God, you believe that he was, that all this is true. If these Bible verses are, 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 if they're striking a tender place in your heart, you believe, I believe, then you got to remember to turn to the light in these, in this process, right? Don't love darkness. Okay. If you feel condemned, turn to the light, right? But he that doth uh, truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Okay, so when we turn to the light and we trust Jesus in this process, did you hear what God's going to do? He's going to let us know that we're doing the right thing. That spirit is going to come in with our spirit, okay? Our deeds will be made manifest. And we'll know that what we're doing is in God. This is, this is really, it raised a hair on my arm just thinking about it. This is a simple process that we can practice in our day today that when you feel like you're not enough or when you feel like your food's not enough and you feel like I need to rely on me, I need to rely on what I want or what I think I want to get through this day, I want you to turn to the light and repent. And say, no, I, I, I acknowledge that I still, that the darkness was trying to, that the world was trying to become manifest. I want, that, I want God to be manifest in me. And I want to turn that way. And you just wait. The peace of, that passes all understanding, that peace of God is what's going to rule in our hearts uh, throughout these 10 days. If we could just remember, just remember to try this process, right? Turn to the light, love the light, and uh, embrace that. That's, that's uh, from, from uh, John chapter 3, Patricia, if you missed that. All right, that's all I got for this morning. I do have a few. No, I don't. I think I've got all of the questions answered. Anybody else need me before we pray out?